All right, you guys, welcome back to more Dishonored. I wanted to go ahead and tell you. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Now, is that. How far away is that? I wanted to continue with the story and everything, and also want to talk about uh, stealth. Oh, you know what? I don't even need to teleport. Let's just run through it. Well, does something just, like, fucking grab me like that? Hang on. It's right there, so. I want these the blink teleport. <laughs> it's not enough. Let me just swim. Hopefully nothing grabs me. But I'm still playing on some 360. I did download the PC version. Uh oh shit. That's the thing I think that just that just fucking Ah it's budget! Fuck! There we go. Look at that shit. So right now I have three runes. Basically the way the rune system or the power system works is you... You can look on the right side, it'll actually just tell you. But you basically, you'll collect the runes and as you get more that unlocks powers. That's really basically it. Mana consumption very high. Okay, the first level of these, I only got the first level of blink. I know that the second level is supposed to make it go further, but... I was going to mention, I didn't know if I'd even have to really address it. Okay, this right here is supposed to be... Yes. Let's do this shit. Alright, so basically the wind blast just throws him away like that. You can actually hold it down, that's pretty cool. It does use a lot of mana though, so... What I'll have to wind up doing is I'll have to save it. And use it on, uh... Probably the next person that goes after it. I've had people, like, it's been a crisscross thing. Uh, I got people saying I'm not being stealthy enough, and then I got other people saying, you know, it's boring if I don't run out and kill people. And it's just, it kind of goes to show you that I can't please everybody. So what I was going to say was, if you don't like the way I play this game, or the choices I make, because one of the uh, great things about this game is it can be played a million and a half different ways. Uh, so if you don't like it, you know, feel free to just, just stop the video and just go play it yourself. It's really... It's no harm done, no foul. Like, I really, it's not gonna make me sad or anything. I just want to just tell you that if you don't like it, you know, that's, that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to have a little address that. That's a, that seems like the only problem with uh, free roam aspect type games. You know that. Let me go talk to, let me just run around the town for a second. Let me talk to uh, this guy. The crazy thing is, hang on, what is this? The Admiral was right in recruiting. Our character's busy. Well, she was talking to me. Can What's I up, man? Service to you? My man here's got some uh, upgrades, hopefully. Do I have enough? Oh, yeah, I do. How about that? Grenade rewire kit. Ah, I've already got some of that stuff. You can buy runes. Nice. I don't think I need to buy anything. But I really want some of these. <laughs> 30 coins for one? Are you kidding? I'll just get three. I got the others. I'm good on bullets. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. So. Oh yeah, I'm. I, I'm torn. I've. I've actually played it on PC, and it wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really impressed with the graphics. So I was just gonna keep that. I was actually able to adjust the uh, brightness as well. I know the last few videos were very, very bright. So. I'm aware of that. Let's go ahead and talk to him. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later.
<laughs> he always wakes up the same way. <laughs> he has that left lean going, you know? Oh yeah, thanks for all the love and support on this series so far. And by that, I mean like the likes and I'm not going to beat around the bush. It really does help out. This helps people see my videos, helps them. Look at these low texture. Watch the door pop in. Hang on. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Somebody said I should install it to help that. You know what? It is installed right now. <laughs> I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't want to rush through the game, but I actually, I think if you stick to the main missions, there's only like nine. As far as I can tell. Yeah, he looks like he's on this level, so let me, let me go down through here. Yeah, he's right over here. Look at these. Can you... Can I just pour drinks and shit? Oh, you know what? Let's try it. Uh oh. Oh, time to go. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those games that can be... It, it's... I always have to do the same thing. Basically, they can be played so many different ways. Why am I being stealthy when it really doesn't matter? I'm just exploring. I didn't want to, like, rush through because... The third mission hasn't officially started yet. And I just wanted to kind of take this time to just talk to all of you. A little status update for the series. Uh, I decided to turn it into a full series. I can definitely do the full game. But I do want to explore. So. This place would fall apart in ten... It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. It was a milkmaid who started... Alright, there's no, like, interaction. It's different to me. Oh, wow. Harpoon song, slice his throat with a rusty cleaver. That was all I actually read all the notes, I just don't, uh... I don't always sit there and I actually, when I'm actually editing, I always go back and, like, read a lot of the other stuff. Is there something on top of this? Oh, wow. The money rolls in! Yeah, alright, let's just, uh, let's just head back this way, uh... My, I think one of the biggest things about this game, what I was trying to say was, since it can be played so many different ways, I'm not going to please everybody, but I still will read comments. Uh, so if you're interested, I can definitely do that. You are reminded that assaulting a member of the City Watch has been made a capital offense, and guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeited. That's the cool thing about this. You can just haul ass. Look at that. And there I am next to you, bitch. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating. Just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Emergency grain rations will be available in the civil services district and So far it's pretty straightforward, so let's uh let's go ahead and do this. The Weeper area. Well, no time to mess around. I got the quick slots set up right now. I'm rocking the, uh... I'm rocking the crossbow on the top. I got the bullets on the bottom. Then I got the, uh... I got the blink on the right. And then the wind blast. I'll get a chance to use that. So, I, I'm thinking about using the heart. Right there. But I just... I don't know. It just... It seems like... It just seems unnecessary right now. Let's go in stealth mode. I adjusted the brightness because I noticed the, the game itself is just naturally really bright. So, is there anything in the water? Because that thing that jumped up earlier was, was eating me alive, boy. So what we're going to do, the plan of attack here, I'm going to use the sleeping darts, if we have to. These are like a, if shit hits the fan kind of thing. Okay, let's go ahead and lean really quick. If you're thinking about buying this game, 
I don't know. Like, it's uh, it's a great game. I'm not going to lie. It's a... Oh, this guy's just puking it up. Okay, there's something nearby, so let me... Uh, yeah, I have people telling me I'm killing too many people. Then I have the same people telling me, hey, my... My stealth or whatever. It, it's just like, come on, really? Can't please everybody. Alright, let's see here. I had the same problem with Skyrim. Okay, I gotta get a bottle or something to distract him. If I throw the other guy's body, maybe... I don't even really think it even matters. I, I think he's one of those... Hang on, let's see here. Throw it that way. That's not far enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You know, I don't think it really matters if this guy sees me. Holy shit! He's infected. What the fuck is he on? I mean, I'm trying to. Be reasonable with the guy. Jesus. Jesus. Sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting. Alright. And in here, another rune. Fucking A, guys. So that actually took my health. I should have bought some health before I started this. I really should have. You, know you know what I should have used? I should have used the... Uh, I should have used that. No, no, what the fuck? There we go. I'm gonna shoot some money back. Let's see what they... I just acquired that. I got one rune, so I can't buy everything. There's only a couple of abilities. Ooh, what is this? Health is increased. Oh, that'll do it. I wonder if that actually regenerates it right now. Nope. Wow. A lot of games do that. But not this one. <laughs> not this game at all. Alright, this is dead end. Trying to get the fuck out of dodge. I'm gonna probably on the next few missions, I'm gonna spend more time collecting if there's runes around. Because I want to get all the abilities. Because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be more than useful. Here's the way to go right here. At least we found a rune on the other side, so. I don't see anything. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a bottle. I hear him talking, but there's a chain I could climb that, or the alternate path would be this way. Thirty coins, really? That's a lot. I guess it's a lot. It doesn't really seem like that much. Just one bow and arrow. Fuck that. <laughs> uh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. I guess if you don't have your stuff drawn out, it really doesn't matter. I was expecting to be attacked and everything else. I'm just gonna start opening doors. Alright. What is this? As yet I have said little of my brothers Morgan and Custis. Twins they are, four years senior to me. Morgan is the larger of the two brutes by a slight bit. From earliest memory they abused me in every way. I'm not the first to claim their elder siblings were cruel, but my suffering was unique. I promise you. At the tender age of five, they tied me to the crib and set inside it assorted vipers they had collected over several weeks. My howls and my breathing were muffled by a blanket, and so it was hours before the nurse found me, barely alive. I had kicked a few servants to a pulp and others had slithered away, but not before I'd been bitten a dozen times or more on my legs, arms, and face. The wounds kept me convalescing for months while those two got away with barely a tongue lashing. Wallace! Bring me wine. <clears throat> to 
tomorrow I will regale you with the special gift they gave me on my 10th birthday. Bye. Very cool, very cool. I don't want to, like, interrupt it, but I get the gist of it. This, this is, alright, this is a sign of an alcoholic. Look at this shit. Oh, wow. 100 coins from that. Empty bottles all next to it. I mean, it's just like, whatever, you know? I know the mission objective is right there, but I'm just kind of exploring. There's a lot to be found, too. Look at these coins. By quarantine measures are That's the same thing from earlier. Okay, I'm in the same area as earlier, so let me go ahead. There you go. Let me go ahead and head down there. I actually think I can just do it from here. Report to a recruiter to learn more about the opportunities in service to the Lord Regent. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. To keep to the strictures. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. So we're gonna go find Emily. How about that? Let me see if that's actually the main objective or... Yeah, these are both primary tasks. How about that? So hopefully the brightness is a lot better. It's just a bright game. It really is. Uh... I'm trying to think of what else was like that. This is where the next mission will feel, uh, like officially I start. I, I think I've done everything I can do here. Uh, let me just collect a few more things and I'm gonna buy some health from this guy. There you go. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy. Yeah, let me stock up really quick. There's so much stuff here. I'm sorry. I only thought. The hell is this? Never mind. Can I? Oh, I guess this is where you customize what weapons and uh. He has news for me. Or I guess not. Grindstone. I. You know what's funny is when I first saw the trailer for this game. Corvo, my I friend. thought Bioshock Do Infinite. You need ammunition, for some reason. Weaponry. Would you like me to craft something for you? Yeah, let's have a look. Upgrades. I didn't look at that last time. Basically. This is where it's at. Let me see how much health is it. Does he even sell health there? No, he does not. All right. It's a completely different thing. Equipment. Wow, look at all this shit. Crossbow is definitely good. Uh, I think I would rather... Pushing against an enemy. That might be what I want to do. The sword crossing. But all this other stuff. The accuracy, the reload, the... It's a data even in combat. I didn't know it wasn't in, uh, otherwise. Bullet capacity, all the- Okay, so basically... Gotta pick one. I wanna do this. And I was thinking about the short range... The pistol's really good. But I kinda wanna, like, work on this thing first. So... Let's do it. Ah, the royal protector. Just the man I needed to speak to. And I guess this right here is going to be the start of the third mission. I'll we'll take just have you to, to wait and see. Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. 